Hey, what's going on, boys? It's your man, CGOD. We back again. Today, I'm bringing you a quick little video on installing a drop kit for my 08 Harley Davidson Road King Classic. And along with that, okay, so let me, let me start from the beginning. The bike is on air ride in the rear, and it's got a two inch drop kit in the front. However, we did do a 21 inch wheel swap. So this is what we're gonna be installing today, boys. So as you can see, these right here are the drop kit. And uh, it's pretty much gonna change the position from bolting right here over to one of these three holes. So obviously this is one inch drop, two inch drop, and three inch drop. And it comes with its own hardware, etc. I paid about $13 for these on eBay. And I also picked up this Arlen Ness lowered kickstand. So as you can see, here's your part number here. All that good stuff I believe it's about one inch shorter than stock so hopefully that'll keep my bike standing up and not falling over after we slam it some more using the drop kit so first things first we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna take the saddlebags off of the back and we'll or actually I might even do the kickstand first boys just that way once we do get it lowered I'll be able to have it sitting down on its own so yeah and this should be fairly easy um, as far as I know it's just this one bolt here on the top that one there so we'll pick the bike up take that one bolt out and there's a little spring that holds it also so we'll probably get that changed out in a jiffy it shouldn't be too hard and then like I said we'll pull the saddlebags off get the bike jacked up and start mounting up our little drop kit but uh yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing right now boys so let me go ahead and get cracking on it right quick it shouldn't take me very long so I'll be right back right now all right all right guys so making quick work of this kickstand I figured I'd give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison so you could see what I meant whenever I said it's an inch shorter so this Arlen Ness kickstand is in fact gonna be using the factory hardware so it'll fit into the square end of that piece and use the factory bolt. But this is the actual difference here. So I mean, as you can see, the shorter one is obviously the Arlen Ness one. And the chrome on it also looks a lot better. And as you can see, I had bent my little foot tab on my original one. But uh, yeah, so either way, we're going to replace it, boys, with this nice shiny chrome one. And I do recommend going with the Arlen Ness over the cheaper brands because these are made of forged steel as opposed to the other ones which is just regular steel and I have heard of some people saying that they've bent it with the regular non-forged so yeah definitely spend the extra money on this guys it's literally what holds your bike up from falling so let me go ahead and put it in I'll tighten the bolt and I am gonna also be using blue Loctite for this and uh, then we could set her old girl down and then start on the back. All right, boys? Yee! All right, boys. So just to share my little experience that I'm having right now. So even with the one inch shorter kickstand, it still um, isn't necessarily as leaned as I would like. So let me show you kind of what I mean. So this here obviously is with the new kickstand installed. And I mean, she sits nice, you know, she sits decent. I can have the wheels straight and whatnot, you know. And I mean, it's not gonna fall over. But um, I would advise, if you're gonna be lowered in the front and you're gonna be lowered in the back, with the original kickstand, I actually could not have the bars turned to the right without the bike just falling over. So now, I mean, with this one, I can, you know, but um, it's still like too sketch for my liking. So I mean, this is the angle of which she sits now. So yeah. So I mean, don't get me wrong, it's definitely better if you don't plan on going like terribly low, I would definitely recommend the one inch. However, I should have done more research and somehow found like a two inch one because after I get the rear lowered down if it really does go the full three inches down then we might encounter some problems you know but uh 
yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see, boys. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling off the bags. And then from there, we'll start getting the rear mounts or lowered mounts on. And we'll see what's good. We'll just, uh, yeah, we'll see what's good. All right, boys. Yep. All right, guys. So what I'm doing right now is I unbolted the rear shocks to set the bike down and see where it would lay naturally with no suspension on it so this is what we got so i mean as you could see it's not like terribly lower it's honestly only about an inch lower than where it was at already and uh with that being said we got really tight clearance here from the nipple on the brake to the actual fender so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try jacking it up and seeing if maybe there's something that is hitting, you know, like tire defender in this area, or maybe it's got bump stops or something along that point, you know, and we'll uh, see exactly what we got to do to get it lower. But um, yeah, the way it's looking right now, probably only going to set it up either like one or two inches lower than where it was already at. But, um, yeah, guys, so, I mean, that's that. I know I have seen them lower, you know, but this is just where it's sitting now. So, before, it would pretty much just tuck the tire fully. And now it kind of, like, tucks the wheel also. So, like I said, it's only about an inch lower. So, I'd pretty much just be setting the shocks at the two-inch mark right now. But let me try to jack it up and see if I can find any type of bump stops or something along those lines that'll allow us to come down just a little bit more, boys. But I mean, this is decent, I guess. You know, it's not terrible. And like I said, with the kickstand only being an inch shorter, we really want the bike to not fall over. You know, that's the, that's the goal. So yeah, boys, with that being said, let me go ahead and jack it up and I'll see if we got anything rubbing or touching on the inside. And then from there... Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, see what we got to do to either get it lower or just install the lowering brackets. Yep. All right, boys. So we have encountered our first set of issues. So this is essentially what it looks like installed. So, I mean, as you can see, this piece pretty much just bolts into the stock location and then it offsets it. So here I have it at the two inch hole, right? But as you can see, if I bring the bike down anymore, it's gonna make contact with the air tank. So off the bat, we're gonna have to shave that down. And for it to line up straight, they include this big fat washer. Let me try to get her in focus for you boys, but yeah, so they include that to space this out a little bit. So hopefully our saddlebag clearance is still good. And I also had to rotate our air tank a little bit as to be able to clear the shock but uh, probably rotate that some more but off the bat we're gonna have to shave these these pieces so the three inches out of the question at this point we're pretty much just gonna shave this whole piece down right here and hope it'll work from there boys but um, yeah so I'm assuming we'll probably have a similar issue on this side because this side has the compressor outlet right there. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure we'll have the same issue. So, we're just going to set it at the 2 inch. And uh, it should help with ride quality also. Because since this shock here from JC Baggers goes like super high, higher than stock. It rides only like, it rides really good. Like at its best performance at stock height. And that's not cool, you know. So... The main reason for doing this is because I like to ride it really low, but uh, you can't really ride low without, like, I mean, with the kit that it has right now, they allowed you to ride it all the way down, but it's essentially like a hardtail at that point, so you throw comfort out the window. But I'd like to ride it, you know, like, maybe, like, like right here where it's at, like this height here. So, yeah, I mean, as you can see, the shock still has a good bit to come out. So we're not bottoming anything out. It'll be like ideal ride height. And I mean, I haven't had an issue of like scraping the bags on the floor or anything while turning. So we'll figure that out, I guess. But 
we really, there's no need for all that extra height, all the extra lift that it gives. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this back off and shave it down and then we'll see if we're fitting from there because we still got a good like two to three inches to come down and I don't know how well it's gonna clear. We may end up just setting it at the one inch mark, honestly, but uh, trial and error, boys. That's all we're doing here. I have, well, actually I could probably, nah, Nah, there's no point in trying to do that. I was going to say I could move the tank back, but I think the tank is okay where it's at. I'm going to just uh, shave down these brackets. So as you can see on this one, it'll pretty much be getting shaved down like right here towards the end of that and then just downwards right there. Kind of like recreating this round part, but over here instead. So I'm going to go ahead and get cracking on that, guys, and hopefully... We get this resolved, but uh, yeah, oh well. All right, guys. So I got one side shaved up. Um, it's kind of just mocked on there currently, but here we have it. So I mean, like clearances are like dummy close, boys. So this is all the way down, but uh, see if we can get it focused for y'all. Well, maybe. All right, so that's about as good as we can get it. But like, as you can see, like, it's like the tiniest bit of clearance. But of course, this is all the way down. So I wonder if I can capture it for you guys. But look, like that little crack right there in the center of the screen is the clearance we have fully laid out with the two inch that is set at the two inch mark there. So I mean, as you can see, that is as low as it went earlier because our brake nipple is literally right there again. So, yeah, boys, that's perfect because, I mean, I don't know how everyone else gets lower, honestly, um, due to the fact that maybe they're not using the stock fender or something because there's no way. Look, like, you literally have, like, quarter inch before we smack that nipple. Other than that, um, I don't think I could literally go any lower while having that air tank and the compressor mounted where they're at. But, um... It'll be okay, boys, like I said, because this is fully laid right here. I mean, I know it's on the on the jack, but the jack is all the way down. It's not actually on the jack. But uh, either way, so as you can see, she's decently low. It went down effectively maybe like an inch or so lower. But um, the bike is sitting on the tire. I got on it, and I tried to move, and it's just locked in place. So it's literally sitting on the tire, boys. And uh, we got our wheels straight. As you can see, and she's not falling over. So, I mean, that is just, quite frankly, the height we're going to have, boys. But our ride quality should improve greatly at a lowered height. So, I mean, this side, you know, this is just where we're at. This is as good as we're getting, brothers. So, I'm going to go ahead and slap it all together. I'm going to put Loctite on the bolts, tighten them up, and, uh, yeah, we'll call it a day here. This side is pretty much complete already. Just need to, like I said, lock tight the bolts, tighten everything up. And then from there, I'll slap the bags back on and I'll bring you guys back to show like a final stance of it. But um, yeah, I mean, it's not terribly low, boys. We still got decent clearance underneath the pipe. So, I mean, it's about, about yay high. I don't know if you boys could see that, but either way, I mean, it's about like camera height from the floor but I mean like I said guys this ain't no show bike this thing's gonna get ridden I'm gonna be taking it to work and all this extra stuff so it'll definitely do the job for what I'm wanting but uh yeah let me go ahead and finish this all up boys and then I'll bring you guys back with the bags back on and everything complete all right all right guys so we got it all knocked out now um I did have to do some more work on the left side due to the compressor getting in the way so pretty much all I did is I took it off and I drilled new bolt holes so this is kind of what that looks like so, I mean as you could see the original bolt holes are not used anymore it is backed off so without further ado this is the new fully raised up height so I mean as you can see like the bike looks pretty level but I doubt I'll ever actually ride it this high here let me move the jack but um as you can see, the pipes still kind of like go upwards just a hair. So, I mean, in my opinion, 
it's still higher than stock or not necessarily higher than stock but it's still higher than where i would ride it at so with that being said let me focus it for you before i drop her probably about somewhere around there is where i'll actually be riding it at boys so uh let me show you the clearance that i had to make on this here left side so i mean as you can see that is our interference point right here so let me go ahead and show you guys clearance that i made so yeah boys as you could see throughout the entire travel path we never touched it um originally i'm pretty sure it would have but yeah and this is our new laid out height so i mean it's just a tad lower than it was before boys literally i think we only got like i don't know if we got a full two inch more of a drop but now from like the side profile instead of sitting like above the wheel it fully tucks like the fender or not the fender but the the rim actual like round portion of it so it's pretty dope boys um let me go ahead and slap the bags back on now that we're all done and uh we'll check clearances one more time and then i'll bring you guys back for like a fully laid out ending all right boys all right boys so we got it all knocked out um i actually on the right side of the bike i had to take the air shock and move it 180 degrees because the fitting coming off with the angle that it's now at was hitting the saddlebag so with that being said this is what she sits like now so i mean not a huge difference boys but it definitely is enough Hi. he said what's happening it's definitely enough to have a better ride height now so hi. yeah like she said hi too but yeah boys so it's pretty much done like i said i got her all kind of shined up on this side the 16 inch wheel in the back is like completely hidden so that's ultimately gangster so i mean it sits pretty nice you know it's not terribly low but uh definitely gonna have to be careful going and backing up to curbs and coming out of driveways stuff like that but uh it doesn't ride like this at this height so i mean it sits on the tire right here so i'll probably hit it a couple of licks up on the switch and that'll be my actual ride height but this is what the bike looks like now it's got a real nice stance to her you know she sits real dope like oh yeah guys and also got this raccoon tail as you can see here just the little details boys it looks wicked when you're riding it just flows in the wind you know but uh yeah boys she's coming together got her all nice and cleaned up and stuff i don't know if i ever showed you guys the paint on this but let me see if I can capture it for you guys with my phone light. So, I mean, as you can see, it's pretty wicked looking. And then it transfers over to green also. From like a red to a green flake, depending on the angle you look at it. So, yeah, my boys. And uh, this is pretty much going to end this video, boys. This is what she's looking like on the drop kit. Guarantee you it'll ride much better at ride height. So that was the initial goal. I would like to have gotten it lower, but like I said, we are laying tire and fender. So aside from getting either a smaller tire or aftermarket fenders that give me more space, this is where it's gonna sit, boys. I mean, I like the original look. Like I said, this is a daily rider. I don't plan on, you know, show biking it or none of that. Never plan on going center stand. I may end up ditching my one inch kickstand for a two inch lowered one just so that I have more tilt. Because as is right now, after I drop the back some more, even with the lowered kickstand, it won't stand with the front wheel turned to the right. It'll still fall over. So probably definitely going to go with the two inch lowered kickstand, boys. But make sure to like comment subscribe let me know what you think about this little vehicle right here behind me and i'll catch y'all in the next one make sure to stay tuned we got some factory 47 18 inch mad doggers going on this bad girl in the next one so keep an eye out for that one i'll catch you later deuces